Thanks, Liesl, and thank you for having me. It's really exciting to be here today. Um, can you see my screen? Yes, we can. Thank you. And thank you for that lovely introduction. So as Liesl mentioned, I've spent a long time in, in the corporate world. And, you know, these are just some of the things that I've done. But essentially, across all the roles that I've filled, um, the common theme that, were, you know, rang true for me was that I enjoyed getting people to work together well uh, and creating happy teams, no matter what it is that I did. So given the context of our discussion today and to kick it off, I think I'd like to share a story from one of these roles that I've, I've played in. And we'll start off the story by saying once upon a time, Melissa was a customer services manager. And she was responsible for doing a little bit of change management, um, getting people from both retail, finance, et cetera, working together. And one of the issues that she that came up on her desk was where there was a um, customer complaint. Now, this particular customer was a retailer, and let's just say it was a, a spa, right? And this particular business was then bleeding cash. They were bleeding money. They couldn't find out where it was. And there were lots of accusations, you know, finger pointing. People didn't do what they were supposed to do. And people were getting angry and there were lots of angry emails that were going around. So I needed to set up a meeting and get everybody together. And I recall this moment so very clearly. I remember pulling up and getting to the, the meeting venue. And as I got out the car, I saw this uh, really big man standing there and he had this, you know, very angry face and he was had his arms crossed. And then next to him, there were these two huge dogs. And now this is what I was walking into. And the dogs were barking. His staff members were inside. It was really, uh, you know, quite, quite dramatic, quite dramatic. And when I walked into the venue, uh, and we all sat down and there were different people. So there was vendors, there were suppliers, there were uh, the accountants, there was the staff members, and then there was my team that was present. And I remember thinking, how am I going to get all these people to firstly calm down and work together? Because nobody even wanted to look at each other in the eye. And just from that one experience, I can tell you, the first thing that we had to do was to agree on why we were all there. That was the only thing that was common. Nobody else had wanted to say anything to each other about the weather or the coffee. Nobody wanted to talk about it. So we then uh, sat down around the table and then we started to identify what was the common goal. Why were we there? And then we then looked at what, are, what was the accountabilities? What did we need to get done and who was going to do it? Um, what was the key activities and how, do, how would we know whether it was a successful um, engagement or not, just even for that particular meeting? And once we were very clear on the results, people got to engage with each other and then they started to communicate. Once they started to communicate, you then found it was a natural incl inclination for everybody to then start collaborating in the team. And once we put in resources, um, you know, we gave people tools, we had documentation and information that was available to people, we found that people could suddenly start building trust because it's actually an innate human uh, need to want to trust people and to want to collaborate and engage with people. And so if you remember those key things in the story, it actually is the premise for any kind of team engagement that you may have. This is a, a little bit extreme because we had lots of angry people, um, but nevertheless, the same principles will apply in any situation. So 